The simple things are the most wonderful things. We could plan this big, elaborate vacation. We could spend a bunch of money, but it's walking along a dirt road picking blackberries that we have the most fun together as a family with. We just went blackberry picking with our kids, which is one of my favorite things in the whole world. And I'm gonna give you some stoic parenting lessons that go along with it. The wonderful things in life are accessible to everyone. Some of my neighbors live in trailers. Some of them have thousands of acres, but we all have access to this same free thing that the earth provides to us. And that nature is a great equalizer and humbler of us in that sense. One of the things we talk about as we're picking the blackberries is that it's all going into a common pot. Right, the Stoics talk about the common good over and over again. You might say it's a little socialistic or communistic, but we talk about how it doesn't matter who's getting more, we're in this together, right? We're collecting a bunch of blackberries so we can cook something together. So we can have a blackberry crumble or a blackberry tart or a blackberry pie or blackberry tea or any of the things that we're gonna make with it. We get to do that together. We're gonna experience it together. Obviously life is a little bit more complicated than that, but it's always important to remind your kids that we're in this together, that we're doing doing things together, even if their younger brother isn't as good as picking as them or they're the best, it doesn't really matter because in the end, we share these things. Being present is the most important thing. You could say that good parenting could be encapsulated in a single word, presence, right? If I'm on my phone, if we're distracted, if we're not watching them, all the good memories and moments that we have as people, as parents in this life, come when we're present. My hands are all dirty and covered in thorns. To get what you want in life sometimes comes with costs. Seneca talks about paying the taxes of life gladly. He doesn't mean just the taxes you owe the government. He means that if you want to pick blackberries, you're going to get stabbed with thorns, that you got to watch out for snakes, that there's going to be bugs, that if you don't put on sunscreen, you'll get a sunburn on the back of your neck. The idea that nothing is without cost in this life, and we have to be aware of that. One of my favorite Stoic lessons, they say, don't expect figs in winter. The idea is that there's a time and season for things, that things come a certain way, and then it's foolish to expect figs in winter. It's also foolish to expect things from people when they're not ready. It's foolish to expect things from people that they're not capable of giving. When we're out picking blackberries, like I just was with my kids, this one, my hands are filthy. I try to remind them of this lesson, right? We're picking blackberries, not figs, which was the plant of the Greeks and the Romans. It's this idea that you can't expect this thing in late summer in the depths of winter, right? That's not when its season is. And that to get the things you want in life, you have to be patient, you have to be ready, you have to understand the time and place for things. That's how life works. And it's a really important stoic lesson. The thing about blackberry picking also is that it gets us walking. I've said before that uh, although walking doesn't solve all your problems, I've yet to find a problem that's made worse by walking. Getting the kids outside, getting them moving, doing something that's stimulating and fun and challenging and messy, right? It makes us better, it makes them happier. It's just a great mood setter. You know, it's just wonderful to watch their curiosity, to watch their exploration, to watch them get good at this thing, right? You do it every year, you get a little better at it every year, and it's watching them acquire this, this skill, the, the art of spotting them, of sensing which ones are ready and which aren't, right? Going faster, where they're gonna grow, a sense of, of nature. Steve Rinella writes this great book about raising outdoor kids in an indoor world. And whenever I go blackberry picking, I think this is what we're doing. We're, we're raising outdoor kids, kids that aren't grossed out by stuff, kids that aren't afraid of thorns, kids that uh, are curious, kids that are excitable, kids that, that understand the world around them, that can spot beauty in beautiful places, but also beauty in ordinary places. This is what you're trying to do as parents. You want an outdoor kid in an otherwise indoor world. If you want to keep your stoicism journey going, well, that's the journey that I'm on every single day at this computer, I write one stoic inspired email that I give away totally for free to people all over the world. There's no spam. You can unsubscribe at any time and you can sign up at dailystoic.com slash email.